Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to IB Today's podcast. Let's talk. I'm your host John Raza, back with a new episode. And in today's episode, mein, we've got a very special guest. We've got the senior principal engineer at Security Dot AI, Mr. Muhammad Ali Saab. How are you, sir? Alhamdulillah. How are you, John? Alhamdulillah. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank And you. how did you like our studio? First of all, impression. It was great. It's impressive. Very good. All right. So for those students who may not know a lot, let's start off by talking about what exactly happens at your company. So security. AI is a is an AI driven uh, data privacy company. It's a startup by Rehan Jalil, and uh, if you know the the uh, development in terms of computer science in last ten years, you see the uh, the byproduct is data. Yeah, there is lot of data which every one of us is producing. Yeah, like cars. If you see the uh, see Kareem, hmm. it is sending ping data every couple of seconds, right? Indeed. So it's generating lot of data. If you see Twitter, Facebook, everyone is generating data, and that's where uh, there are different terms coined around data. If you uh, you might have heard about uh, dark data, indeed, I mean data which you cannot process, indeed, right? So, uh, and because this data is customer uh, consumer driven or customer driven generated, user generated content, you need some privacy uh, around that, yeah. right? So here comes different uh, regulations and laws like GDPR, CCPA, which ask the uh, companies to actually produce that data on customer's request, alter that, like amend that or delete that, right? So uh, let's say if you are a student of IBA, your data might be in LMS, hmm. in ERP. If there are different Slack channels organized by IBA, there and multiple sources. Indeed. So GDPR uh, is a regulation that is actually in Europe. CCPA is in California. There are a lot of different laws in different countries. So GDPR asks you to, if if you are a student and you are in Europe, yeah. you can ask your company to provide uh, the data that belongs to you hmm. in all of their sources. Yeah, right. And there could be multiple different sources Indeed. within forty five days. And the, uh, I mean, the university can charge you some money. Like ten dollars, ten uh, pounds in Europe, and they can take up to forty-five days, but they need to produce that data. Indeed. So think about it. Can you humanly uh, search search that data manually? Absolutely not. Right. So that's where our solution comes in. We automate a lot of things, including this TSR request. There are assessments where uh, we assess that whether you uh, comply to GDPR or CCPA or any other uh, law within, I mean, within your region. So that's what um, Security Dot AI does, and it it extract. I mean, you just give it a data source, yeah. and we crawl that, and we find all the data that match to um, certain patterns. Lot of artificial uh, intelligence driven thing. Yeah, and then we we serve those requests. We help you serve those requests. That was that was brilliant. So like up to about okay of, of the company of security dot AI, but no company is like complete without the individuals that yeah. help run it. So like you've been talking about a place which to a computer science six semester student sounds like heaven, but let's just uh, move on towards the individual experiences. So mm -hmm. how has your personal experience been at the company? Actually. For every company, the culture is built by people, right? And people at at security dot uh, AI are great. Uh, you are allowed to make mistake as long as you own them and yeah. you fix them. Indeed, right? Yeah, that's really important. So the culture is great. I mean, um, everyone has certain things to do, and if there are any problems that that are actually that came in like bugs or anything, yeah, he has to own them instead of blaming someone else. For Indeed, that, right? Yeah. So the culture is great, I would say. All right. So let's say an IBA student or student of any other university, but specifically IBA, because mm -hmm. IBA. And like say for a student at IBA who is a recent graduate, yeah, student who's still studying there, and they're looking for an internship or a job this mm -hmm. particular summer. Like, what exactly is your hiring department looking for in in a graduate or in an in, 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 a, a, you know a prospective intern? Basically, there are five areas which are usually judged by any company, not only security. dot AI, and those yeah. five areas are data structures, data uh, databases, object oriented programming, operating systems, and programming language. Right? Yeah. So those are the five areas that are judged by any company in Pakistan, not even in Pakistan, 
worldwide from a fresh graduate of course from a senior person we expect a lot of other things but those are the five core areas which we expect them to know right um, you should know how to write different queries how to model databases i mean from a on a basic level yeah we want you to actually write some code for a given problem we expect you to know how different data structures works like uh, how is tree different from a graph for a particular problem whether i should use graph or tree or heap or linked list or yeah. whatever and then you should know the complexity algorithm indeed also uh, you should know some operating system because operating system is fundamental when you are writing uh, distributed applications right indeed. you you need to have to know where to lock things how to acquire logs when when to release logs and all that indeed so these are the five different areas which are usually covered when we talk to a fresh graduate so like that was that was great but like say in modern times right now hum bahut sare uncertain times se guzar rahe hain with the pandemic and everything with this you know this entire atmosphere of uncertainty how has say the atmosphere within the company changed how has like say the work changed and how has the approach towards that work changed uh honestly for us uh, i mean the it industry is least impacted and we are also least impacted by that the only difference that we face is uh, we shifted from work to work from office to work from home and even that was uh, uh, i mean on uh, employees request that was changed and we uh, our office is open twice uh, i mean it's open for 6 days but but everyone has to come twice a week yeah. if he want to otherwise he can still work from home right so that's the only change other than that i don't see any change uh, in the uh, in security.ai from this perspective that, that was that was great so like say now that you've explained the entire journey and and how the company operates like this is indeed the most important question of all where can our listeners connect with you online they can connect with us uh, via email if you want to connect me personally then it's mohammed.ali@security.ai Uh, remember it security with an i yeah <laughs> <laughs> and um, other than that you can connect to hr i mean our contact contact us page can land you to uh, connect to directly so. absolutely so i'm in my sixth semester and a fan here who's the founder of uh, ib today he is also in a sixth semester hmm. computer science and a lot of students are right now wondering what they're going to do with their fyps the final year projects so do you have any sort of advice or anything that you could help them with I would say FIP is a very important part of your um, graduation program, right? So I would advise that uh, anybody who is uh, doing a graduation in computer science should connect to some of the industry uh, yeah. people. For if they are connect, uh, trying to connect to us, we are more than happy, and uh, we can give some ideas. Or if you have some ideas, we are more than happy to actually help you out with that. Indeed. So one final question. Uh, obviously as a student right now a lot of i mean a lot of students are and myself particularly uh, we're all worried about our careers our future our jobs obviously so at security.ai what is the whole scene of say recruitment drives at universities specifically at iba so for uh, in order to hire uh, fresh graduates we have a ha- fast track program yeah in which we go to different universities we uh, ask the um, department to actually give us a list of students and those students might not be the students with the highest gps they should be good students yeah right and then uh, we invite them in our office there is a, a session conducted on introduction to company and then um, we have a test and then interviews and process so that we do uh, i think every 6 months yeah So that's our fast track program, and yeah, what stood out from that was we're not looking for high GPA students; we're looking for good students. I really hope my parents are watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, sir. It has been an absolute honor and pleasure to have you. And to anybody who's tuned in, thank you so much for watching this. We'll see you next time in a different episode. Until then, bye bye.